Hello, welcome to Confidence to Cabaret. My name is Heather. And I'm Ryan. And we are so excited that you are here for Confidence with Coffee. Ryan, what are you drinking? I am drinking, um, this is called Jaguar Honey. Um, and it's a uh, new blend from a place I got just down the street and I'm absolutely in love with it. Uh, this is it's very nice. Tea? Is this so, yeah. tea? Is this tea? No, no, this is coffee. This is coffee, coffee, proper coffee. Oh, wow. Proper coffee. And what about yourself? Oh, well, you know, usual instant. But, okay, I haven't drunk it, but I have my water. Me too. Snappy, snappy, matchy, matchy. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. It's a work in progress. Exactly. Work in progress. Every day. It's like, okay, I'll try and do better tomorrow. I'll mm -hmm. try and do more tomorrow. And this week, speaking of wonderful people who walked into our lives, uh, we have an incredible podcast with the amazing Nazma Katoon, right? Yeah, I, I, um, I, you know, when you meet people and it's kind of a fluke by accident mm -hmm. and, and they just kind of wander into your life mm -hmm. or you wander into theirs, mm. you know, and, and you don't know, and it doesn't, it's just like, this is a cool person. Yeah, yeah. I, I had chatted with Nazma before and, mm. you know, we, we had a lot to talk about, but when she did this podcast for us, it, it was like, wow. Yeah. This, no, is, this, is, this is everything and more that mm. I expected. Yeah. And I think it's quite rare to find a coach that uses so many different tools. And, mm. and, and sometimes when you use so many different tools, they're just kind of like uh, trying to get you to use everything yeah yeah um or they're trying to take you through a process you know like step by step you use mm -hmm. this this week and then this that week yeah and what's cool about nazma and her practice is that she's she works with moms mm -hmm. um and she has a range of tools depending on what fits the the situation or the person yeah. Yeah. and i just love that you know yeah. um I, I think in this podcast, she really highlights beautifully how, you know, different scenarios would have different, different mm. calls for different tools. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I think that a lot of times we're so busy, not just moms, but moms is a good example where we're just so busy and we're so, you know, especially like you have children and then you just, you hit the ground running and mm. then, yeah. or you start a new job and you hit the ground running and then, and then you don't stop to think, oh, actually, I'm not okay, yeah, or yeah. I need help, you know, I need some sort of support. Yeah, yeah. You know? um, and I think, I think the fact that Nazma tells that story for herself, yeah. her own programming, because she uses NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, yeah. um, I think the fact that she tells that, that story about her own experience mm. um, is so relatable in this podcast. Mm. Do go check it out, Confidence Your Cabaret, anywhere you get your podcast or confidence to .com, you'll mm -hmm. find all of our podcasts there. Um, but you know, it's just, it's just such a, a great example of, of the fact that, you know, we're all about finding the tools that work for you. Right. And Nazma has this huge arsenal of yeah. things that, um, that she shares and that she talks about both from her own journey, as well as from her own training and, and work experience. Yeah. Um, so what was the, what was your kind of favorite tool or thing that we explored in that podcast? Well, should we listen? Should we roll the clip? Should we roll the clip? Yeah, I think that's a great idea. I totally forgot that. <laughs> oh. Let's roll I'm the there. clip. I'm not feeling responsible. <laughs> I gotta <laughs> tell you all the, all the things. Yes, let's roll the clip. Let's roll the clip. So I was just amazed by what I had discovered in myself. And I thought there are so many people I'm sure like me. And I just got this um, um, urge to do something about it. So I got certified in those areas. So I got certified in NLP, hypnotherapy, youth coaching, as well as business. And then I started my journey from 2016 doing so. So <clears throat> how I apply those tools, it really depends on individuals. So a lot of people go through adversities through their childhood through to where they are now um, and are unaware uh, what's hidden in the subconscious mind so NLP tool and hypnotherapy especially those are the main ones I use is to uncover those belief systems that's been hiding in the subconscious mind that's not serving them to do what they want to do in life and so many of us um, don't realize that we're stuck until we come to a certain age um, 
and then we realize we're not happy we are not fulfilled we're not living the life that we want and it's actually those adversities those belief systems the subconscious mind has been holding us for such a long time mm. we we you know start to explore them so it, it, you know, there's so many different ways of discovering those things. So there's different tools within NLP, different tools with hypnotherapy. And then, of course, the additional ones are EFT and law of attraction and all the other stuff. Well, so I think it's uh, for starters, I think uh, Nazma has a really interesting model. And in as you say, she's really user led. So she goes by everybody's individual process and individual needs and needs and desires when it comes to their sort of path on this journey. Um, and I really appreciate that because I think a lot of, as you quite rightly say, a lot of um, coaches want to go through a very specific model and there's nothing wrong with that but having multiple skills and multiple tools and within the arsenal is is very suit is very um useful especially when you're approaching you know working on something any number of different things like um like nasma sort of uh, helps people with um so i think it's really interesting that there are so many different uh so many different uh ways in which you can get clear on on how things are affecting you and also then how to move past them or to work with them depending on how you're how you're sort of approaching it um i'm really interested in nlp i think it's a really fascinating um discipline and a really fascinating tool so i think if i was going to uh to invest in a coach and work with someone like nasma or work with nasma specifically um i would definitely be um because i feel like i can really uh trust her and trust her um trust her skill i feel like i would be very comfortable to go through something like nlp with nasma um mm-hmm. i think that would be a very interesting um an interesting exercise or set of exercises what about yourself well nlp is something that um i've done a lot of work with mm-hmm. in a, a business sense yeah um, because I, I i do business coaching but and and also obviously you're using your 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 programming and 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 anchoring and 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 triggering and mm. uh, um i think um i think it's interesting when you take a tool and apply it to something so timeline therapy is something i'm very um familiar with and, and experienced with but i i i don't use it in context of things like money mindset um, so I'm aware that money's an energy and I'm aware of our, our attitudes towards it, but I'm not, I, she gave us a couple of examples in this podcast and I thought, mm, I would probably say I'm comfortable yeah. and then, but I'd like to earn more money. So that that's a self-limiting belief right there that yeah. comfort comfortable is enough. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I think when, when we accept a salary, for example, at work, you know, that's kind of, that's it. That's what we're going to earn. Mm. and there's security in that and that's mm. great and it's wonderful if that's where you're at um but then you you kind of don't get to go well i, w- I want to do more mm. right <laughs> you know, that's right. why so many people have a side hustle yeah. um so i mean self-limiting beliefs are a huge part of what we talk about obviously in confidence through cabaret i think my favorite thing though has to be the tapping right i i just i i want to learn more about it mm. um I've, I've experienced it as a user and I, and I, um, I use it quite a lot in my fingers with meditation, but just the, the, the tapping to, to learn how to do it properly and right. to be able to self soothe and comfort and also relief release yeah. pain. I think, I think that's a cool way to go, but I, I like the, 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 the idea that you can kind of touch on different things mm-hmm. Um, I'm a huge believer in hypnotherapy. Um, right. A couple of my children have actually used hypnotherapy in their school life, um, for mm-hmm. example, um, because I'm I'm a I'm a big advocate in in terms and it link, lends itself beautifully to to NLP and and embedded commands and and so on. Um, so I, there was just so many different um, cool things, and I know this month we're talking about abundance, and. I guess the thing to be starting with is where do you want more abundance in your life? Right, right, right. You know, is that about a relationship, either the relationships you already have mm. or attracting a new relationship? Because we didn't actually even, I mean, we're going to have to have Nazma back. There was just oh, so absolutely. much. Yeah, no, we didn't go into law of attraction either, which is a whole, you know, mm-hmm. and that's, that relates to money or relationships or, 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 or you know, all kinds of different things. Um, so, but um i think we we need to get clear on where we want more abundance to show up in our life and i know that we'll be talking a lot about that this month um 
because it's such a great theme. Mm -hmm. And Nazma's a, a, a really cool person to be to be thinking about. You know, if you listen to the podcast, we cover a lot of topics, really. Yes, yeah. Yeah, no, really, we do. So, you know, we talk about depression, we talk about motherhood, we talk about money, we talk about tools, we talk about um, programming from family members, we talk about, you know, um, relationships with our significant other, mm. um, our children, you know, it's, mm. we talk about a lot of things if you think about it in the podcast. Yeah. And it's kind of, you know, if it's all of those, all of the above that you wanted more abundance in, then we're where do you where do you want to start what's what's the core that you want the most yeah 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 Absolutely. Mm. oh well there's so much to to go into with this podcast there really is there's so many different bits that you can cover um and uh, and that you can discover uh, listening through this because it really is a fascinating interview and nazma's just a wonderful wonderful guest um and we were very pleased to to be able to be collaborating with her in this and to to feature her on the podcast so uh, thank you so much nazma uh, for joining us like it was it was just such a wonderful it was a real pleasure to to feature you um and yeah. you know if you want to hear more about nasma and you want to hear more about uh from this podcast then go to where you find all great podcasts uh which is where we are we are on all of them we are on all of the things uh podbean spotify itunes you name it we are existing on those platforms um yes we're also on all the socials exactly. i mean we're everywhere right we're like everywhere. i love googling us it's fun i've never i've never thought that would be a fun thing or that i would ever admit that but it is fun because we've got like nearly two pages confidence yeah. your cabaret all your social media except for twitter which is at the six magic letters yb yw ys and i am on heather i'm i'm on a clubhouse and i'm not on heather i'm on clubhouse <laughs> i'm on heather <laughs> i'm on heather i'm on clubhouse as at heather Y B Y W Y S and exciting news. Um, I am starting, or depending when you're listening to this, starting or or uh, or have started uh, a, a confidence clubhouse group as well. Yes, as well. I know. So we talk about all the things um, that are that are mindset and confidence and self limiting beliefs, mm -hmm. and and it's just so such a rich and wonderful world to get involved in so wherever you find your social medias check it out join our our um, confidence through cabaret community because yes. we have some fun in there we um and we have we had a challenge recently which you can check out which is all about spring cleaning and and clearing energies um we had uh falling in love with you if you want to just feel better and accept your yourself in in your own body um, we had all caps challenge. We've had so many. You can check yeah, that a lot so in the many, units. So many, the pursuing a passion project challenge. There's been so many, so yeah. many, and all of those are actually available to enjoy in the unit section. So feel free, just jump on in. You can get to know everybody. Um, you know, get involved in those discussions. We're always asking uh, different questions. We're always looking to to get involved with you in different ways, um, and we always want to hear from you. So please feel free, just drop us a comment in that community, and we'd love to hear. Uh, we'd love to get some feedback from you, and of course please do join our amazing member site, www.confidencethroughcabaret.com, yeah. uh, available now. <laughs> I love our, our masterclasses. I really, truly <laughs> love too. our masterclasses. I think, you know, why go through all of that struggle on your own? Yeah. When you, you get can... signposted from people who've already been there. Yeah. 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 And just such great tools and tips yeah. and and workshops and workbooks for you to explore mm. and we're in there all the time so oh, absolutely yeah mm. oh yeah so thank you for joining us today thank we'll see you tomorrow for work it out yes. and in the meantime have a have a great day wherever and whenever you are <laughs> um and do remember it is your body, body your, your world, world your stage, your stage. Woo! Thank you, everybody. This has been Confidence Through Cabaret with the Confidence with Coffee segment. Mwah. Goodbye. I'm Heather. That's Ryan. Bye -bye. See you soon. Bye -bye.